Hey, what's up everybody? My name is King Z. Welcome back to the Afterlife SMP. We are back over here at our boat docks, admiring the ship, admiring the work we did last episode. If you missed it, make sure to go check it out. But we built this awesome dock area along with this crane and this amazingly beautiful ship, which you guys have been giving names for. And as of right now, I've been slack and I have not, <laughs> haven't picked a name. Uh, so maybe at the end of the episode maybe at the end of the episode i can have a name picked out for you guys and i'm probably going to choose one of your guys' suggestions because i have still like i said i've not done any any thinking on that so we'll get back to the ship in a minute so today's episode i just wanted to recap some of the stuff that i've been doing off camera i've been working on the pathways as you can see we've got this pathway coming all the way down here um we have all of this blocked off here at least a uh, pathway blocked off blocked off meaning we put some blocks down uh and then we come up here come up here we got some more blocks and all that good stuff pathway coming up here and it goes all the way Way around uh, this area here i'm thinking about bringing it down here as well maybe having like a nice little fountain in this area i'm not totally sure um over here we haven't really touched um we're going to be doing some stuff around here eventually uh, but i've also been doing some pathway work over here as you can see i've been bringing some of the path down here i've changed this up a little bit i originally had planned to have the pathway go out and over that way but i think it's going to be a totally separate area and then it heads over here we have a nice pathway coming down over here to basically nothing i think i'm gonna have a nice little viewing area of something over here later on and then it comes down this way we have a nice little spot here for something and then it comes down here once again nice little viewing area for something over here maybe we bring some more docks and stuff like that over here and then we have the tunnel through to this side over here which just leads back to the area that we started at and it comes down here which i do believe we can put a nice little building over here got plenty of room for it and if we fly over here you can see that i've been bringing some of the staircase and the pathways up over here because we're going to get into the territory of the castle area which i've also done some off-camera work i've been flattening out this area i think i might want to cover up this side here possibly to make it a little bit more to give ourselves a little bit more room to work with down there uh, but then i've also i don't know if you guys saw this last episode or not but i have these rings that I set around here. So we have a ring, an outer ring here, and then an inner ring on this side. So on this inner ring, I'm going to be digging all the way down to bedrock. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that today. Maybe we could, maybe we could do it because I do plan on doing a stream and that'd be a pretty, pretty easy thing to do on stream. And the inside between these two rings is actually going to be a walkway. And on the exterior of that, I think I need to do a third ring possibly, but I want to have some of the castle on the outskirts of these rings. Um, it'll be a little bit easier to work with this down below because down below here, I do plan to have different levels levels, different walkways down here, uh, maybe possibly crossing paths, but I do want to have an open glass dome on the top of this because we want light shining all the way down and through here. And I think it'll look pretty cool, but that's just some of the stuff that I've been doing off camera. What we are actually going to be tackling today, we're going to go head back over to the dock area uh, because we don't really have many buildings. We have one building that we live in, and then we have this little dry dock work shed where we're building another airship. And I think what we want to do is have a little bit more buildings around here. One, because it's just going to look cooler that way. It looks looks pretty plain right here. We just have a, a ship and a dock and not really much going on. And two, because we can store some things in there, give ourselves a little bit more storage or possibly hide a farm in there. And three, because we've already laid out some of the areas here. So what I want to do for this entire episode is build a few things. So we're going to do a building here, a building here, possibly these two buildings would be connected. And then we have two other buildings over here. And then we can decorate some of the garden space around here and also maybe put another building or two in the walls here. I think it'd be kind of cool to build some of the buildings into the walls here because our Terracing is so high, we can have easily have like a roof starting right there and coming down over these areas like that. So it'd be really nice to have like little shops through here, possibly little fishing shops or wherever they may be. I'm not totally sure what we would have just yet, but hopefully some of you guys can check out the stream and join me. I'm going to be streaming every Saturday that I possibly can around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know it's kind of late for a lot of you, but for anybody on the West Coast or anybody that stays up super late, you guys can join me. It's just the best time for me to do it where I don't have kids running around yelling and screaming. And I just kind of have all the time in the world to mess around because be, it could be like a very, very long stream or it could be a pretty short stream. Um, the shortest streams I'll probably do are probably an hour. Um, the longest stream I'll probably do is go until like 4 a.m. <laughs> because otherwise I will ruin my sleep schedule. But yeah, so we're going to be trying to fill out this area. We have five potentially four buildings down there, a few buildings up here we could place, and then we have this area up here. We can also do a few buildings. I want to get a lot of work done in this episode, and I think once we got the basic idea of what these buildings are going to look like, I do want to mix in some of these because we're trying to do like industrial look, but I also want to mix up the roof style a little bit, especially down here where it's closer to the water. I think it'd be kind of cool to see what we can mix in, what we can match together. I want to mix in a few different color palettes as well because we don't want everything looking exactly the same. We want to kind of mix it up. So I'm going to get to gathering some resources and also planning what kind of builds we want to do, but hopefully you guys enjoy this time lapse. Bad 
back everybody a quick update for you i know you guys saw the time lapse uh, we finished this building over here which i do like it's a little bit small but it works not a whole lot going on on the inside minus the fact that a creeper spawned in here earlier but it's looking pretty good got my nice little bed in there adds a little bit of something to the area and then we have this big old behemoth here which i really like the everything except for the roof i'm not too happy with the roof honestly so that is subject to change uh, i like the stone i like the white diorite plus I believe it was concrete powder that i use in here yeah and then we have the oak strip spruce and then the regular oak planks and stripped oak logs down in here just to kind of give it a different color from the other one i'm gonna have to add a little bit more of this around here to kind of make it fit in with the area so one of these buildings will potentially be kind of similar to this um the roof though I, I hate the color of the roof i was thinking deep slate tile to begin with and i think i want to try that one more time because i do like the roof shape better but i might i still might change it honestly it's uh it's just not sitting well with me but the color definitely needs to go i think the color is the main part that i don't like and then possibly Possibly that I use stairs as another reason I don't like it. I'm not totally sure. It's just a really strange fit with this right here. I don't like it at all. Uh, let me take a quick sleep. But I do like the build as a shape. I just don't like the roof. But if you come in here, this is going to be a nice little shop area. Uh, I have the potential to dig into the walls here and build it back even further, which I think is kind of cool. And we'll probably end up doing that. I have a nice little back room here, which also we could dig into if we need to. And then to actually enter the upstairs area, we need to come up here on this terrace all the way up here. And it's a nice little drop down that I still have to detail, but it has a nice little look out here. I like that the lamp post is in a decent spot for this. I might move it a little bit maybe just to kind of give you a better look at the house, but I do like the detail in this all the way around. And if you come in here, it's a little bit small, a little bit cramped, but we can definitely use it for like some sort of lodging or maybe even like a small shop area. A little bedroom area over here is very tall. Could potentially have another room on top. And one thing I wanted to put on the dock area was actually some form of storage. And I was kind of thinking this would be it. And it still could be. I could still push this back and have storage in here. Um, but I was thinking about actually extending this tunnel back and making this a storage room underneath this terrace. Uh, we could have it drop down quite a ways and have like a large storage room down there right off the docks where we're getting all of our goods imported. And I could have a another tunnel leading through the island so we can transport our goods and all the things we store through the island, which I think be kind of cool but we'll see we'll see about that i definitely want some sort of storage around here um it could be a small storage like this guy right here is kind of small but it could be potentially a storage if we push it back a little ways and then we have another small building here we need to create and i'm probably going to do these two off camera and give you guys a quick update and then maybe we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of planning for some buildings in here like i said we still have uh, plenty of room back behind these walls to build things and then we also have a potential to use this wall here for some buildings as well um, i was thinking about actually having a seating area out here for eating which i think would be kind of cool so this little building here could come up and be a little wall section possibly or these guys could even push out onto the roof potentially but we'll see we'll see how it goes just want to give you guys a quick update i'm gonna get back to work so i'll see you in a little bit
All right, welcome back everybody. I will show you guys the time-lapse sections first because that's kind of what's fresh in your mind. So first thing first here, we have a little two-story building here. It's connected, there's different levels of these roofs here. We come down here, it gives us a nice little walkthrough we have. And it feels kind of cramped and it's kind of how I want it to feel. Nice big open window, another big open window, windows and some doors, a lot of difference in height here, which is also really nice. And this building is actually accessible by both sections. So there's a door down here and there's also a door up here. As you can see, this section is not so much, not so nice, uh, just because like, it's a very small little landing here. Potentially, I could put some, some storage up here and things like that, but that's about it. The stairs down are pretty relatively easy to get down to. I do need to texture some of the wall here. I'm not even sure how much of this I can texture. Probably quite a bit, actually, so that's, that's nice to know. Uh, but we have plenty of room to dig out in here and make this a much larger build than it needs to be, potentially. But for right now, uh, I haven't touched really any of the interiors. I kind of want to get a lot of these buildings up first and then decide what we want to do later. Uh, Another thing that I did was plan out a little bit of a section over here. Um, I dug out some area down here, so I want to have another two-way accessible level building here. So we have an accessibility right here off the staircase, and then we'll have some more accessibility here off this main level here. And I do want to fill up most of this area with, with warehouses and workshops and shops in general. So I really want to fill up the industrial area, make it look crammed and packed and just awesome, honestly. And I also want to add some like iron golems down here on the docks uh, as like dock workers and stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, but we'll talk about these buildings now that I built off camera completely, uh, mainly just because I, I told you guys I was going to do that. And I want to kind of explore a little bit um, this building. Um, this this building here is pretty similar to this building, that building our starter houses. And then these buildings here, um, it's just a little one story, nice little small house, nothing really going on in here. Just a nice little looking building to be out here on the dock section. And then we have this, which is actually a storage building, like a warehouse building. You can see we got the hoist up there to hoist things to the second level but right here is not connected to the second level because i figured it'd be a nice way to have the ships remove all their goods put them in here storage wise and if they need to be moved up to the higher levels they could use the hoist and they can bring them up here and store them in here this building is i really like this building actually it's a nice little it looks kind of like a little bit of a barn but it's a warehouse for dock area old school kind of hoist right here and then we have another level up here that i want to add some trap doors into here just to give us some more storage room potentially i could also just leave it open and kind of give us a nice view up there as well because I doubt we'll actually use this for a storage. It's just kind of a nice building to look at and see around the dock area. I also changed the roof texture here on some of these buildings. You can see it's now the light gray terracotta and the dripstone. Uh, before I had like the red terracotta and the brick. And I kind of like that but I wanted to try this one because this one is the one I originally had planned for. I just didn't have enough dripstone. Ended up buying some from Ash. Sold us a bunch for a few diamonds and I like the look of it. I do maybe want to add one more roof style in here like texture wise and maybe the brick will be the one to kind of add that extra little bit of texture in here because this dock section is all going to be about the same. The buildings are going to look similar. The roof styles are going to look similar. And as we move up towards the castle and beyond, the roof and the building styles will definitely change. So I want to make everything down here look pretty similar. Kind of gritty, kind of blue collar work style buildings. And then we'll get into the fancy stuff later on. All right. Now we've got a little bit of the building done today, which is pretty good. we got a few buildings done. I think like four or five. I don't even know at this point. Uh, but we do have this section over here that I've been messing around with off camera. I don't know if you guys have seen it in the videos or not, but this is actually going to be part of the castle. And what I want to do is dig it all the way down to bedrock. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Did a whole lot of digging and a whole lot of digging. We got all the way down to bedrock here. And the idea is to have this be a glass floor down here. So I'm going to have it dark stained glass down here, um, either black or dark, like gray. I'm not totally sure which one I want to use yet. Um, but this is essentially going to be our, our mass storage. So I'm going to be building a storage facility in here down at the bottom. Um, maybe I build it into the wall somewhere. So it kind of like, you know, we have like a maybe like a stone section, a, a building block section or something like that. If you guys have any ideas, we have plenty of room to work with down here. Uh, I'm not totally sure how it's going to be shaped out just yet. I know I want different levels all the way up holding our redstone farms. And I definitely want a few builds in here as well to make it look kind of cool and steampunky. But there is a whole lot of space to utilize. And we do have like little windows here. So this could be a whole level by itself. Up here, we could have some buildings going throughout because this is definitely going to be part of the actual castle. Like this entire top part of the mountain range is going to be the castle. And I want it to look really fantasy-esque. Like I said, there's going to be a giant glass dome on top of here. We're going to have to build this up a few more levels, I think, to make it look really nice. But it's looking good so far. Definitely the start of something that I have never done before that's for sure i've dug a hole pretty far almost to bedrock but i've never actually utilized it for a build so hopefully we're gonna make it look nice hopefully we're gonna make it look pretty awesome here in the end but we'll see we got quite a bit of work done today as far as like builds go not a whole lot of time lapses which i'm kind of just testing the water see what you guys think do you like seeing more time lapses do you want to see me do a lot of stuff off camera like i did this off camera i did that on camera that sort of on camera same with this and then that i kind of just kind of you know it's a little diggy build but i think we got a lot of work Work done here in today's episode. It was a lot of fun doing these buildings, uh, kind of experimenting with roof styles and, and build styles and stuff like that. Definitely a lot more we can add over here in the dock area and we can move up to the dry docks here in a little bit. I definitely have a whole lot of planning to do left on the castle, but that's a task for another day. So I'm just kind of enjoying what we got done so far here in the dock area. I definitely want to get a, a few more ships out here to make it look a little bit more lively. Add a few golems down here working on the docks. I think it'd be kind of cool. But I think that is going to be the end of the episode, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this one. Took a little bit longer to get out than I thought, but hopefully you guys uh, stuck around for the whole video. If you did, I really do appreciate it. Remember, if you're brand new or haven't already subscribed, please do. It really does help my channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of today's episode, and let me know what you think of the series. My name is King Z, and I'll see you all next time here in the afterlife. Thank mm -hmm. you.